Hey everybody, Home Slash Henry here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some battles submitted by a member of the community featuring the new regional Pokemon from Mexico, Halucha. Halucha is a fighting and flying type Pokemon with the moveset of Poison Jab, Aerial Ace, and Flying Press. And what has me excited about this Pokemon is going to be that fighting move, Flying Press. It is an incredibly powerful move, as for only 40 energy, you can deal 90 base damage. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out Flying Press Halucha in action in the Great League. Hopping the first match, picking up an incredibly good lead, Registeel into Azumarill. And even better, the Azu is staying in, which means they have to be weak to Registeel somewhere in back as well. Zap Cannon is going to get shielded. Unfortunately, we do not see a Zap Cannon debuff. This is enough for the Hydro. Reggie respects it, and this Azumarill is running Hydro Pump. Reggie will be able to massively outpace the Azu, going for Zap Cannon number two, looking to apply some pressure. Opponent double shield in the Azu, but this time they do get hit with with that ever annoying attack drop. Reggie's gonna let this through. Opponent goes for the Hydro Pump. Reggie, able to tank it, make it to yet another Zap Cannon. This is not gonna KO, but it will get the Azu low. Zap Cannon gets the Azu very low. Azu, with a sliver of HP, able to make it to a move. Reggie lets it go. It's a play rough. That is not enough to KO. In comes Ferrothorn. We see a pivot into Halucha. Halucha, farming up. Opponent now gonna send in Tentacruel. While Aerial Ace is neutral here, and Flying Press is resisted. Flying Press is such a good move that Flying Press is actually the recommended move to go for here. That's how good of a charge move this is. Flying Press, 90 base damage for 40 energy is absolutely absurd. Halucha lets it through. It's an Acid Spray. Halucha makes it to the Flying Press. This is going to be taking care of the Tentacruel, and all the opponent has left is the Ferrothorn. In comes the Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn going to fire off a move. Halucha is going to commit the shield. Ferrothorn went for the Power Whip. Halucha farming up. Switch, and an incredibly nice catch. Catching the move onto Registeel. Who even needs an Umbreon, as this will finish the game in style. Halucha, Flying Press, KOs the Ferrothorn, and that's game over. Great lead again in the next match, Registeel into Pelipper. Pelipper staying in this matchup, and Pelipper is going to fire off a Weather Ball. We see the immediate no shield from the Registeel. Registeel going to hit back hard with the Zap Cannon. If Pelipper is staying in, they are almost assuredly going to be shielding this up, and they do. We do not see an attack drop. That is a bit unfortunate. A second Weather Ball is still not going to KO, even though there wasn't an attack drop. Registeel able to tank it. They make it to Weather Ball number three, and again, we see a no shield from the Registeel. Registeel, Weather Ball, able to hang on and make it to the Zap Cannon, but bad news, that Zap Cannon was caught onto an Umbreon. However, there's some bad news for the Umbreon. Umbreon, meet Halucha. Halucha, farming up here, making it to the Flying Press. Umbreon is tanky, but not tanky enough as Flying Press KOs. Back in comes Pelipper. Again, Aerial Ace is neutral, Flying Press is resisted here. Flying Press is actually still the better move to go for, because that's how good of a move it is. Accidentally overfarms into a CMP tie and will have to burn the final shield. This is a CMP, stuck throwing the Flying Press, not able to overfarm anymore. Flying Press gets the shield, Pelipper continuing to farm, Halucha makes it to the Flying Press, barely outpacing the Pelipper. This Flying Press is going to KO, what do they have in the back? They have Registeel, I want to see this Flying Press damage on Registeel. This is not an expensive move, but it hits like an expensive move, look at the damage! Goes for the catch onto Registeel. Unfortunately, not able to get it. Halucha will be met with a move from the Registeel. Registeel fires off the Focus Blast, just throwing the cheaper move. But at this point, Umbreon can very safely close out this game. They make it to a Focus Blast, but Focus Blast, not a problem for the tanky Umbreon. Absorbing the damage, making it to the Foul Play. Foul Play takes care of the Umbreon, and that is a good game. We've got same leads in the next match, Ready Steel into another Pelipper. More than happy to stay in and play out this matchup if the opponent is, and that's exactly what the opponent is going to do. They fire off the Weather Ball, Ready Steel going to let that through, Ready Steel farming up and going for the Zap Cannon. This will guarantee a shield from the Pelipper. Pelipper does not want to take double super effective damage, and again we see no debuff from the Zap Cannon. That is unfortunate. Pelipper going for Weather Ball number two, that's going to land onto the Ready Steel. Ready Steel will be hit with Weather Ball number three. This 
Beast will get the Reggie low, but Reggie will be able to survive it. Reggie Steel able to hang on. Opponent makes a catch, catching the Zap Cannon onto Machamp, but this is going to hurt. Shadow Machamp forced the shield. In comes Halucha. Halucha farming up, going for the Flying Press, but losing CMP to Machamp. Machamp fires off the Rock Slide. That would have been some big neutral damage. Halucha returning fire, going for the Flying Press. Undercharged it. It KOs anyway. And now we'll have to see, does the opponent send back in the Pelipper? My guess is yes, and that's exactly what they're going to do. I don't think this is quite Flying Press range since Flying Press is going to be resisted. Pelipper going for the Weather Ball. We see a shield from Halucha. Halucha going for the Flying Press. This is resisted, but this is going to hurt. Flying Press gets the Pelipper low. Pelipper with a sliver of HP, able to make it to a last second move. Weather Ball KOs Halucha. In comes Umbreon. Umbreon gets the farm down in the back. They have their own Registeel. Oh no, this is not necessarily looking good here. May potentially need to try and go for a catch to win the game. Farms up and gets the catch. No shot, no shot. What a catch able to make the catch and with that i believe this game is now winnable firing off the foul play there opponent throwing on alignment and it ends up costing them dearly as with a one turn going up against a three turn if you throw in the middle of umbreon snarl umbreon's not going to be able to catch but the opponent threw on alignment and it's going to cost them this game as umbreon now has the back-to-back -back foul plays foul play number one gets them into the red and foul play number two will be the death blow umbreon takes down the Reggie Steel, and that's a good game. Reggie Steel cannot stop catching good leads as in the next match, it leads into a Bastiodon. Bastiodon farming up, opponent switches into Whimsicott to catch the Focus Blast, but Whimsicott is about to have a very bad day as Poison Jabs from Halucha hit for double super effective damage. Halucha is going to respect the move with the shield. Opponent did make it to the Moon Blast. Halucha gets the farm down, opponent gonna send in Pidgeot. I don't think Pidgeot's prepared for how much damage Flying Press is gonna do. Flying Press, big damage onto the Pidgeot, getting it into the red. This charge move is so good. Down goes Pidgeot, in comes Bastiodon. Bastiodon firing off a charge move. We see a shield from Halucha. Halucha trying to finish the game itself. Halucha farming up, making it to the Flying Press. Can it get to another one though? Health rapidly diminishing we see an aggressive switch into the reggie steel and not gonna risk it with halucha going to let reggie steel finish this game instead bastidon has a shield advantage but it's just not going to matter here reggie steel may get it to the focus blast this will grab the final shield from the bastidon bastidon continues to farm but smackdown is never going to outpace lock on Going for a Zap Cannon here. Maybe a little bit of bad manners onto the Bastiodon. Getting the attack debuff. Bastiodon forced to fire off a move. Flamethrower will KO. We'll have to see. Can Halucha make it to a move? Halucha gets to the flying press courtesy of that Zap Cannon attack drop. My goodness, the disrespect. And that's game over. We've got a battle of Haluchas in the next match, although the opponent is running it on the lead. Halucha is a very tough matchup for Registeel. As we've seen, Flying Press hits incredibly hard. Flying Press gets a shield. Registeel baiting with a Focus Blast. Honestly, I would just go straight Zap Cannon here. It's far too risky, and Zap Cannon can get a potential attack drop, which could be quite helpful. Halucha firing off a move. We see a no shield from the Registeel. Registeel letting that through. Flying Press nearly KOs. Firing off another Focus Blast into Halucha. Halucha lets that through. That is going to be resisted. And now we have the battle of Halucha. Halucha committing the shield. Opponent running X Scissor. And then the opponent is going to send in Lantern. Lantern farming up, but Lantern will lose CMP to Halucha. Halucha firing off the Flying Press. Flying Press able to land. Deals quite a bit of damage, but this Thunderbolt is going to vanquish Halucha. Thunderbolt lands. Down goes Halucha. And things are looking a bit rough. As unfortunately, down switch advantage and down a shield as well. In comes Umbreon. Umbreon makes it to the foul play. I don't think this is quite going to be enough to KO, though. Foul play onto the Lantern. Lantern hangs on and is able to make it to what should be a Thunderbolt. It is. Thunderbolt lands onto the Umbreon. Umbreon gets the farm down. Opponent, their final Pokemon is a Shadow Drapion. Drapion going to be met with the Last Resort. This is definitely a tough spot to be in if you're the Umbreon. Last Resort does deal a nice amount of damage, but unfortunately, Drapion has a shield advantage and a pretty 
significant health advantage as well. This Drapion is running Aqua Tail, baiting here, going for the foul play, trying to grab a shield from the Drapion. Drapion commits the shield. Umbreon continuing to farm. Umbreon needs to make it to the final last resort. Aqua Tail gets the Umbreon low. In comes Halucha. Going to fire off the foul play. This is resisted, but it will be enough to KO. May have to catch to win. Drapion fires off the move. That is going to be taking care of the Umbreon here. And that's game over. The good leads continue in the next match. Ready Steel into Grand Bull. Opponent is going to save switch into Beedrill, and Beedrill will be met with the Zap Cannon from Ready Steel. That gets a shield. We see a switch into Halucha as the opponent fires off a move. They go for the X Scissor, and whatever they throw here, whether it's X Scissor or Drill Run, both moves are going to be double resisted. Halucha not going to shield. Opponent goes for the Drill Run. Halucha continuing to farm, trying to make it to the back to back Aerial Aces, but I don't think it's quite going to get there. Aerial Ace gets the shield. B Drill barely able to get the farm down. At this point, I think you just kind of have to send in the Umbreon, tank whatever they have, and then hope that two shield Registeel will sweep whatever the opponent has in the back. Opponent fires off the drill run. They're going to pivot back into the Grand Bull. Grand Bull will be answered with the Registeel. Zap Cannon will be deployed. Grand Bull may not be Shadow, but it's still not going to appreciate that Zap Cannon. Zap Cannon gets it low. We see a shield used. Opponent goes for the crunch. They do get the defense drop as they get farmed down. Does the opponent send back in the Beedrill? They do not. They send in a Thunderfang Steelix. You see some interesting Mons and movesets during the first couple days of the season. Focus Blast lands, and that will be getting the Steelix low. Ready Steel gonna let this through. Steelix goes for the Psychic Fangs. We see a pivot into the Umbreon. Umbreon farming up. Opponent sends in Beedrill. Beedrill firing off a charge move. We will see the final shield used by the Umbreon on the X Scissor. Umbreon now at the back-to-back -back moves, and this should be game over as Foul Play will be getting rid of the Beedrill and leaves with another Foul Play for the Steelix. Steelix, low enough, foul play KOs. Hopping to the final match, picking up a fairly neutral lead, Registeel into Lantern. Considering there's the flying type, Halucha in the back, definitely not a bad thing to catch the electric type on the lead. Registeel is gonna tank the Thunderbolt and return fire with the Focus Blast. Focus Blast and Zap Cannon do the exact same amount of damage in this matchup, but Zap Cannon, of course, five energy more expensive, but does have the opportunity to potentially get that attack drop. Ready Steel will commit the shield on Thunderbolt number two. Ready Steel farming up here. A little bit of lag. Goes for the Focus Blast, and it's caught onto Altaria. A very unfortunate time to be going for the Focus Blast. Altaria is going to be met with another charge move. This time, it is going to be the Zap Cannon. This will hit for some heavy neutral damage onto the Altaria. Altaria its attack does get lowered. Altaria is going to throw energy here as it didn't look like they were going to be able to farm down. They throw energy. In comes Halucha. Halucha looking for the farm down, but Altaria with a sliver of HP able to make it to a sky attack and we do see a shield being used. Now the opposing lantern did leave with a bit of energy here. They're going to send back in the lantern, firing off the flying press. This flying press is only neutral, but it is going to hurt. Flying press lands. Halucha farms up. Switch and a beautiful catch, catching the Thunderbolt onto Umbreon. Umbreon farming up some energy. Lantern gonna bank some energy as well. And then the final Pokemon is revealed to be Venusaur. Venusaur firing off a move. Umbreon is now at 100 energy and will need to just start firing off charge moves. Fires off this foul play. Foul plays will add up onto the Venusaur. Venusaur expends the final shield there. And honestly, getting shields down is quite good because Halucha can hit very hard. Foul play is going to connect. Venusaur continuing to farm. Firing off another foul play. This foul play is not going to KO, but it will get the Venusaur low. Venusaur is going to fire off a charge move. Can Halucha get the farm down here? This is going to be close. In comes Halucha. Halucha gets the farm down. In comes Lantern. It's a race. Halucha wins CMP over Lantern on the Thunderbolt. Flying press KOs. And that is a good game. All in all, thanks to Flying Press, Halucha does appear to be a fairly decent regional. I wouldn't say it's anything meta-breaking by any means, but it does seem to be a fairly solid Pokemon that one can use as more of an anti-meta Pokemon and actually get some nice wins in the Great League. 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.